What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to take a look at Kobe Bryant jerseys. We're going to specifically look at the purple jerseys. I know a lot of you guys are interested in buying Kobe Bryant jerseys, especially after his tragic loss. Um, so just to show you what to get or what you will be getting if you decide to purchase these jerseys. Yeah, let's start off. All right. So the first one we're going to look at is his rookie jersey. Now, during this tenure, this was a champion jersey. This is the 50th anniversary. And this is the first year, obviously, Kobe Bryant's first year. And this would be the last year that champion would produce uh, this specific year on this jersey. And uh, Nike would then take over the license for the Lakers from 2000, from 1997-98 uh, season to, I believe, the 2003-2004 season. So then you also see this style jersey in Nike. And then here we have a double stitched. And we have the eight, double stitched eight with the big, big shadow font. As you can see in comparison here, this is another eight jersey. And you can see the differences between the eight. Really well done jersey. Um, one gripe I do have with the Mitchell and Ness jerseys is you can see the purple. This is an Adidas authentic. These are all Mitchell and S, and you can see how different the purple is. So Mitchell and S does need to go back to the drawing board and get the purple right. So as we take a look, this represents the 2000-2001 season. Kobe Bryant. Now, fun fact, if you ever look at the highlights from this particular year, 2000, 2001, especially in the playoffs, Kobe absolutely dominated. He dominated the Spurs with back-to-back 40-point -back games. He dominated the Kings. Um, to say that Shaq carry Kobe is definitely not an accurate statement. The guy was averaging 30-plus points a game. I mean, there's no sidekick in the world that averages 30 points a game that I know of. Um, so, you know, obviously Shaq was probably the more dominant player during that time period, especially during the finals times. But Kobe Bryant was not no slouch <laughs> at all. When you're dropping 40 points back to back on the Spurs, who had arguably, and in my eyes, the greatest power forward ever, and a top easily top five, top six, top seven center of all time um, and absolutely dominated them um, and was the best player in that series. So, you know, and you had three, four Hall of Famers, first ballot Hall of Famers and four like superstars. And he was the best player in that series. So if you ever take a look, take a look at that series. This is the year they beat Philadelphia on the uh, repeat. And then they actually three-peated against the Nets the following year. So if we take a look at this jersey, we have a double-stitched. Very similar to this. The only difference you'll see where the E and the R is. There's a space here. So a little difference in font. Nothing too major. But they are both double-stitched, which is really nice. All right. So then... We take a look at the All-Star game, 2000 jersey. They have the All-Star patch. Again, with the double stitching across the same font used for the finals jerseys is used here. So pretty much the same thing. Now we're going to get to the Adidas, right? Now, how it worked back then is Adidas um, purchased Reebok back in 2005, 2006 time period. And uh, Reebok did have the license for NBA jerseys, but because of the purchase of Reebok, Adidas just took over. And as you see the jock tag here, right? So <clears throat> Adidas took over. And if you ever wondered why uh, James Harden recently was wearing uh, the Reebok question, Kobe Bryant, PE, um, and how he's able to get away with it is because Adidas obviously owns Reebok, and I'm sure he got permission from Adidas to wear the Kobe Bryant-inspired um, Reebok questions. So as you see the purple on here, it's just next level. 
uh, jersey quality here. This is probably the best jersey quality. And Reeboks were really well done back then. Um, so as far as the Lakers are concerned, um, the Reebok Authentic, I think, was only made for one year. And that was the year 2004-2005 season. And I believe the either, or 2000, sorry, 2005-2006. But it was either one or two of those years, if not both of them, that Reebok made the Authentic. So you will see some Reebok Kobe Bryant Authentic jerseys. But uh, after 2006, they all became Adidas. And this is what you got. Just to show you, this is dated 06. So, great, phenomenal jersey. Um, you see the purple's on point. Everything's on point. Um, so, if we take a look at this jersey that's in the cut, this actually is supposed to represent the same year as this jersey. This is supposed to represent the 2006-07 season. And you see they have a single stitch on the Lakers, which is inaccurate. And a single stitch on the 24, which is inaccurate. And they screwed up on that jersey. <laughs> um, I don't think they went to single stitch for a long time. Um, I believe even the Revolution 30 jerseys may have been double stitched. But the, uh, the Revolution 30 jerseys now um, were never stitched on. They were heat applied across the name. So it looked like they were stitched because the applique has stitching on it, but they were never sewn onto the jersey itself. That's, um, you know, quick fact. So this represents the 2008-2009 season. This is the finals in which they beat the Magic, I believe, in five games. Kobe Bryant was very special during this whole playoff run, particularly in the finals. Um, they were, Orlando was no match. Uh, of course, this is the year, and the year after was the year we felt like we got cheated from Kobe versus LeBron in the finals. Um, probably, you know, what uh, I guess the most uh, anticipated finals we probably ever would have gotten. I would put that first and I'd probably put second. Uh, MJ versus Hakeem Olajuwon and the Rockets would be right behind that. Uh, would love to have seen that, but it didn't happen for a reason. And, uh, and so I just wanted to, put this video out there because I know a lot of you guys are going to be looking at Kobe Bryant videos and Kobe Bryant jerseys and wanting to purchase jerseys. So here's a little jersey video to basically express, uh, explain what you'll probably be getting or looking into if you do purchase a jersey. And um, I believe they have these, this particular jersey on uh, fanatics.com or nbastore.com. And uh, so this is what you'll get, right? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are my Kobe Bryant purple jerseys. Just a little insight and information on what you're looking at. All right. Hope you enjoyed. We out.